The eighth talk on machine translation is devoted to automatic acquisition of a translation dictionary from a parallel corpus. From previous MT talks, you know where to obtain parallel data from and how to align it at the level of sentences. Today, we'll find correspondences between individual words, so-called word alignment. The algorithm is again language independent and totally unsupervised. From the sentence aligner, we are given sentence pairs such as in this corpus. The White House is the official residence of the President of the United States, Bielý dom, oficiálna rezidencia prezidenta Sša. Come to my house, prichadíte v môj dom. And we would like to learn correspondences between individual words, such as house is the translation of dom, and come can be translated uh, into Russian as prichadíte. As usual, we are going to skip most of the technical details in this talk, but I'd like to point you to a very useful resource, the introductory talks at MT Marathons. Annually since 2007, MT researchers and students, and recently also practitioners, gather for a week to learn the basics, but also the most recent advances in machine translation. Since MT marathons are traditional for free, why don't you consider taking part yourself this year? Let's illustrate the beginning of the algorithm on this simplified corpus of just two sentence pairs. White house, Bialy dom, and my house, moi dom. If you have the dictionary, you can easily find the best matching word pairs in a given corpus. And on the other hand, if you had a corpus and the corpus was fully aligned, you could easily extract the dictionary by looking up how often a word co-occurred and was linked to another word. This is actually the basis of the expectation maximization algorithm. In the expectation step, you have all your knowledge stored in the modal in the dictionary and you put it to the data and you're expecting, you're, you're finding what is the expected alignment given your dictionary. In the maximization step, you update your probability table, you update your dictionary uh, to maximize the probability of the data that you're actually looking at. Back to our example. The good thing about the algorithm is that it is totally unsupervised. So you can start with no information at all, with just some random alignments, uh, and you will still end up after a few iterations with a reasonable dictionary and alignments. So let's see this algorithm with assuming that every word corresponds to every word in the corpus. What we have now in the corpus are co-occurrence counts and we will collect them in the maximization step uh, to uh, obtain the dictionary of correspondences between words regardless where they appear in the corpus. So the word BLE, for example, was seen here once with white and once with house, and that's it. So in total, there are two occurrences of BLE, and one was with house and one was with white. And there are no occurrences with the word my. So notice that we have already learned one thing. We know that the Russian word BLE probably doesn't correspond to the English word my. So this translation pair is kind of excluded. But we are not sure whether BLE means house or white. We haven't seen enough data for this yet. Let's continue with the word DOM. The word DOM was seen four times overall in the corpus. And of these four cases, it was aligned with white once, with my once, and with house twice. Normalizing these counts, we've already learned that the most likely translation of the, word, of the Russian word DOM is the English house, uh, the probability of 50%. Now let's fill uh, also the last line of the dictionary, uh, the possible translations of the word moi. So that was the maximization step, and now we have a probabilistic dictionary, which is kind of certain about the translation of the word dom, but it is very uncertain about uh, the translations of the word moi or the word bieli. Let's use this dictionary for the expectation step to update uh, the probabilities of the alignments. We'll first copy uh, the probabilities from the dictionary to the alignment table. If you normalize these scores, it will be actually two thirds and one third. We get one half and one half. Let's repeat the same thing for the second sentence. Let's now focus on the normalized probabilities only and we are ready to do our maximization step. We use the fractional counts of the alignments from the corpus 
to obtain new probabilities in our dictionary. So the word BLE was observed here with a fractional count of two thirds and here with a fractional count of one half. This is roughly 0.43 and this is roughly 0.57. So compared to the previous iteration, we already see that we are gaining some more probability weight for the co-occurrence, for the correspondence between white and BLE rather than BLE and house. Let's repeat the same thing for the word DOM. So again, we see that the probability of house being the translation of the Russian DOM increased. It used to be one half, now it's 0.6. Let's finish the iteration by filling uh, the table for the word MOI. So after this iteration, we already clearly see that MOI is best translated as MY, how DOM is best translated as HOUSE, and BLE is best translated as WHITE. So this was IBM Model 1, the simplest of models for word alignment. It's purely lexical. It considers only word forms as they appear in the data, and it doesn't consider where they appear in the sentence. In a fast forward visualization, you'll see the lexical probabilities in the dictionary as well as the alignment probabilities in the corpus gradually sharpening. The word alignment of a sentence pair is formally defined as a function which maps words in the source sentence to words in the target sentence or a special symbol null to indicate no alignment. Note that this is a simplification since a single input word can be mapped to at most one target word. On the other hand, the same target word can be selected by several source words. So in practice, the same algorithm is run twice, reversing the directions. And the two alignments we obtain are then somehow put together, symmetrized, for example, by intersecting or unioning them. So that's it for today. We have seen how pure word co-occurrences in a parallel corpus can provide us with a probabilistic translation dictionary. The shorter the talk, the longer your homework should be. So please go to our website, download lecture slides from MT Marathon and read all the details and try implementing the simple algorithm yourself in our code examiner.